Lions TV, we are sponsored by Regal Elevators and Lifts Consultants Limited, a company that is owned and operated by a Millwall fan, just like every single one of the sponsors that you can see on the screen, right? Now, if you are going to do a bit of business in 2024, then please keep it in the Millwall family by checking out all of our sponsors' website links in the description below. This is your preview show, looking ahead to Saturday's long away trip to face Sunderland at the Stadium of Light. As always, let's kick off the show by taking a look at the 11 that Neil Harris might pick to start the match. Okay, and you may notice that this video is a day early. That is due to the five to go, four to go. Tomorrow it will be three to go videos. I have to put this out first now, and that could be you know the theme going forward next season as well. But I'm enjoying doing those to go videos. I'm enjoying doing the giveaways for members. If you're not a member and you want to become one, you can click the link in the description below for £3 a month. You get lots of benefits, including giveaways. We're going to give away one of those shirts tomorrow. Those, this season's third kit. They're on sale for 15 quid in the club shop. So I picked a couple up uh, the other day, and I may well pick up a couple more today because I'm off to watch tonight, Wednesday, as it stands, the under-18s in the Professional Development Cup Final against Swansea, 7 p.m. kickoff at the Den, and you'll get content out for that as well, following the conclusion, as long as you don't go to penalties, uh, in which case it'll be out tomorrow, of the match. So preview today, three to go tomorrow, and on Friday morning, I am travelling to Sunderland. We're going to have a weekend in Newcastle. So it's all systems go for the final push of this season. And what do I think the gaffer will do? I think he's going to go as close to an unchanged side as he can. There's only one place and one position that things could change. I think it'll be Sarkis in goal. Ryan Leonard right back. Danny Mack left back. Cooper and Tanganga are the two central defenders. Savile and Mitchell, the two central midfielders. Fleming in a 10. Long one on one wing. Over Femi up front and on the other. I've left it till last because he gave SA the start after George Honeyman came off with a dislocated shoulder. That's a Previous injury, this, this happened again, and I've dislocated my shoulder. Once you've done it once, it can keep happening. And it has happened again to George Honeyman. So, SA started last time out against Cardiff uh, after having come on and played well for the majority of second half against Leicester. But what more replaced SA at half time in the Cardiff game, and he got on the score sheet. So, what will the gaffer do? I mean, what more's a bit more attacking and a bit more, he's got a bit more conviction going forward. Um, that comes with more games and more experience. Not Roman SA hasn't had a lot of game time. Uh, massive crowd up at the stadium a lot, although they've got nothing to play for. They always come in their numbers, those fucking Mad Mackhams. So I think he'll more than likely put Watmore in against his old club as well, Duncan Watmore, of course, for that added incentive. Unless Honeyman is fit, he said it's touch and go whether Honeyman will be fit, but I expect the one change to be Watmore back in for SA. Let's move on to our opposition. Managed by this guy, Mike Dodds. He's currently their interim manager. He's been their interim manager in the past three seasons, which just shows you how many different managers they've had. He, of course, succeeds. Michael Bill didn't last long at the club at all. And previous to that, they had Tony Mowbray, who they got rid of. I think they sacked him. And they was floating in and around the top six, top eight. A lot of their fans not happy about that appointment. That had a knock-on effect to Michael Bill. And as I said, he definitely didn't. Last long, but Dodds is doing all right so far in charge because Sunderland have won two, drawn two, and lost one of their previous five league games. And they're coming into this game off the back of three unbeaten and three clean sheets. I think that defeat against Blackburn at home there, 5-1, could have definitely got things going for Dodds. And as a result, Sunderland sit 13th in the table, six points and three places Above us there, as you can see, a win for them won't do much for them. They can't go up, they can't go down. However, if we was to win, we would guarantee our championship survival and we would close the gap on our opposition to just three points. Other ways to look at this now, OK, if Huddersfield were to lose away at Swansea on Saturday and Sheffield Wednesday were to lose away to Blackburn on Sunday at 12.30, regardless of our scoreline, we will also be safe. If we match their scores, we will be safe with a point, which also means if we do lose at the stadium and those two lose as well, then we will still be safe for another season. We are pretty much there. I think we're at 201 to go down, but I'm making the journey up because I've seen the horror shows of Huddersfield and Rotherham of late, and I just want to make sure 
that I'm there to see us get it over the line. Hopefully, three points will definitely secure our championship survival. As I've already said, let's move on to a prediction. And so, this is your pre-match prediction. And here we go. I am going for a 1-1 draw up at the Stadium of Light. I've been to the Stadium of Light. I've been on the pitch at the Stadium of Light. But I've never been to a Millwall game there. So, I suppose that's another one that I can tick off the list. I said there's loads of different ways to look at this. And a win will definitely, definitely secure it. But look, Huddersfield and Sheffield Wednesday. I didn't include Rotherham in that league table there because I couldn't get it all on the screen. For one and for two, they're already relegated, so it's pointless. But look, they need seven points, those two teams, from their last three games. And they need to hope that we don't get any points from our last three games. That will leave them only needing seven. So we have to make sure we try and get something out of this game because I just want it done and dusted. Now I want to go next week to the den against Plymouth and I just want to put my feet up and not have to worry about what's going on elsewhere and what's going on on the pitch in SE. 16. So as I said, three points will definitely secure it. A point should almost do it. And zero points could still potentially do it, depending on Huddersfield's result at Swansea and on Sunday, Blackburn, they play Sheffield Wednesday. If Sheffield Wednesday don't get anything from that game, then they will be relegated as well, will they? I'm not sure, actually, because Birmingham are still in the mix. So look, that's all I know. Benjamin Bloom said it, so it must be right. But let's go up there. Let's try and win the game. Neil Harris can say to the troops, look, three points... If I was Harris, I'd say, look, three points, get it done. You can come train Wednesday. Don't care anymore. Let's just make sure we're safe. You can go up Newcastle and enjoy your weekend, which is exactly what we're doing and where we're staying. I'm half looking forward to slash dreading back-to-back nights out in Newcastle at my age. I'm just getting far too old for that sort of shit. But there you go. It is what it is. And I am making the long trip up in the battle bus with our crazy sponsor, uh, Mr. Kev Toomey. So we're going to try and maybe do an away days video as well, maybe an extended one over the two days because a lot of you did enjoy the one that we did at Huddersfield despite the result. And I did say that would probably be the last ever one. But due to popular demand, we will probably be vlogging throughout the day and um, he'll have his captains out on as well, I do promise. But that's your lot. I hope you've enjoyed the show. I'll see you tomorrow for a three to go. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions.